V's special gift. The streets these days are empty, but V's days are full. Her mornings start early. Oh no, I'm late. I'll end up at the end of the line. Oh, I made it. We will have rice to eat today. Mama, I'm tired. I want to go home. There's no one at home to watch you. Be a good child and stand in line quietly. Everyone needs rice. It will be a long and tiring day for the babies. Hus, hus. Hello, little boy. Little boy, let me sing for you. Luckily, V knows a sweet song for such a day. The crane flies up high, high above, flies from the gate, flies to the field. Hello there, hello there, do you see now, do you know? Dun, 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 dun and a book to help the day's worries go away. Will you tell me a story? Even better, I'll read you a poem. Our rice grains grow with July storms after the rains of March. Beads of sweat form in June's midday. Water boiling, fish flip and float, crabs Flee their moat, mom keeps planting. The rice line moves so slowly. Grandma looks tired. Do you want to draw with me? Yes. Oh, you draw so well. Thank you. Grandma, this is for you to cover your hat. Do you like it, Grandma? This is lovely. Thank you. The clouds and mountains in the drawing seem to come to life. A burst of cool wind blows. Despite the breeze, V knows to keep a distance with her body. As for her words, Grandma, please go ahead of me. Next. I can wait, it's no problem. Well, if you insist, thank you very much. Next. Thank you. But today, there is not enough rice. Sorry, there's no more free rice. Please come back early tomorrow. <gasps> there is no rice to eat tonight. Little girl, come. So sharing becomes a small joy. Here's some rice for you. And here's some more. These days, there is still giving. Do not mention it. Eat well and grow tall. I, I thank you very much. Mom, D, Deo, we have rice. As night falls, V returns home at last. The long day ends as V and her family enjoy their simple gift. They share an evening of peace.